everyone, welcome back to Elena's journey to Atlantis. And I am sorry for the last episode one, I did not know my mic was off the whole time. So I'll have to record everything that I've recorded today. So sorry, please bear with me, I did not know that my mic was off. But let's get started. I have to replay this episode all over again. So we have to go back to four. And if I mess up on the words, I'm sorry. No one's here to correct me. But just bear with me, please. <laughs> Look at that. She said they wouldn't cover us with, but there's a whole page. Another success on the dig site led by the Department of Archaeology. That's a nice start, isn't it? Indeed. An artifact of unknown origin was discovered and all evidence points to a potential breakthrough what artifact we can't find anything we haven't found anything I collage everything myself Nathan do you know anything about that um it's just a newspaper did you plan an artifact just so they would write about it people will forget about it right away we need to keep the financial financing going I can't believe you. I just can't. Talk to Nathan. Why would you do that? Found you. this need a notebook need this book don't my cat's trying to get my foot Clean this table. Do this in a notebook. Pen in a notebook. And this index over here. We'll talk to Nathan. And do some work. She's like, how could you? Yeah, how could he? Film rolls, I think. Film rolls. I think these are like floppy film ones. Any pens in a notebook. We got three stars. Check y'all out. Let's 
excuse me while I get me something to drink. How could you do that? I did it for Atlantis. I did it and for us. Without my consent, fostering excavation is un ex I don't know. This is going to help us keep the financial for the excavation. And just and it's just one item. It could help us go viral. It's not just one item. It's one big lie. You've changed, you know. Ellen, please. The Nathan I knew would never consider such a thing. Maybe the Nathan you knew grew up and realized he doesn't have to live in the shadows. Oh, of course I knew it. The only ca You only care about fame and the recognition. Professor Artwood would be so proud of you. Atwood. If I mess up on some of these words, I am sorry. Things are greater importance. Nathan, I just got the news. Can it can't it wait? I'm trying to focus on my research, but you constantly interfering. Excuse me? How am I supposed to find Atlantis if you keep talking? Quiet, woman. Really? I don't understand how someone can change so much. Unless I was just naive and missed it through the rose-colored glasses. Miss what? That you're the only interested in two things, Atlantis and yourself. Of all people, you should get it. You know how important this is. Now stop pouting and come over here. We have to look through the catalog. No. You have more important things to do than going through a catalog. I do? Like what? You have to find new financing because the board just pulled the plug. And a new assistant because I quit. You can't. Oh, really? Watch this. No, oh, no, she left. Two pins, a notebook, and a stapler. Got it. I see you. This and an index. Check y'all out. I'll go clean this table. Clean that table. I'll check you out because you're just by yourself. stars. <laughs> At least in the first one, y'all can't really hear me butcher the name so badly.
two pens, a notebook, and a stapler. Got it. get one star at least. I got one star. <laughs> I doubt me getting two or three. Oh, never mind. She left us, me, you, and the exhibition. She left as if, as if Atlantis, we can't let her treat us like this. She's just an assistant. Do you think she'll come back? She has to, right? Darn it, I'm talking to a reptile. I need some rest. Have what you asked for, Atwood. You sick, Ellen's mother. The lizard is so cute. Sorry, we don't open yet. Please come back after 10. I'm here to talk about, we need to talk about Elena. My daughter Elena? Why? Yes, you raised her when I couldn't. But calling her your daughter to my face is inappropriate at best. You, that's impossible. <laughs> there, there. Lydia, you're alive. How's that possible? It's a long story, Petrina. I can't get her name ever. A very long story. Lydia and tells Petrina how it happened to her over the years. Eclair, got you a donut and a cookie in a bag. and a cake. Coffee and a donut. Cookie. Yes, Lydia. Cookie and a donut. I mean, coffee and a donut. 
cookie, donut. Two eclairs and a cookie. See, this table is glitched again. I don't know why. I got three stars. That's good. There we go. And that's how it was. So Elena knows the truth. You're that you're not her mother. That I gave birth to her? That I exist? Yes, she does. I'm her mother in all the important aspects. I won't give her up without a fight. But I'm not trying to take her away from you. On the contrary, I think she's going to need you now more than ever. Too bad you didn't let me know earlier. I want to give her a chance to take it in. We are not as close as we used to be. She must feel so lost. I just thought it was because of Atlantis and so many responsibilities. That must be her. will be it for this part i'm hoping y'all enjoy it i'm sorry again for the last the first episode y'all couldn't hear me because my mic was off i didn't know about that but if you forgive me for my dumb mistake i should have checked if the mic was on but if you like this episode please hit that subscribe button Hit that bell notification so you know when I upload. Hit that like button and that share button. And I will see y'all in the next video. If you're not scared, open that box. Bye, guys.